In this video, I'm going to show you how to customize completely the login form when you use WordPress. In our tutorial, we're going to see how you can do so by using Elementor, but you can apply the same principles also if you're using the block editor or any other page builder, since I'm going to provide you a special snippet that is going to generate some short codes that you can apply to your login page, and you can also use them to customize your password reset page and some other important pages when the users interact with your login form. We will also be able to add a custom link to the menu of our website where you can show a login link to the users that need to log into your website, of course, and then we will dynamically show a logout link to users that are already logged in. So if you're ready to get started, three, two, one, let's dive in. My name is Pascal and I'm the creator of WP Roads, the YouTube channel and the website where I share with you my passion and knowledge about WordPress. So if you like this kind of content, make sure to give me a thumbs up and to subscribe and activate the notifications bell down here. You'll find this link in the resources of the video where you can subscribe to my newsletter and access for free my custom login snippet. I will explain to you how you can add this snippet very easily to your website to achieve this login flow advanced customization. In our example, we will see how to create all the pages using just Elementor and placing simple shortcodes. And since this video is sponsored by WP Codebox, we will see how you can use this fantastic plugin to add the code snippet and make the magic happen. Before starting, let me thank WP Codebox for sponsoring this video, the most powerful WordPress code snippets plugin. Using WP Codebox, you can manage code snippets directly in WordPress. You can save and share snippets across sites via the cloud and access a library of ready to use tested snippets in the code snippet repository. It will work perfectly with all your favorite WordPress plugins. You will be able to choose between countless snippet types. You can even create standalone plugins from selected code snippets in a few clicks. And of course, in WP Code Snippets, you'll find all the capabilities you you're looking for if you are a developer. The pricing is simple, there is still a lifetime license available, and you will immediately get access to all the resources that you need to manage all your WordPress snippets. So now let's get started. This is the website where we want to change and improve the login and transform it from this to the login that we saw at the beginning of the video. So to achieve the same result, we will log into our website and we will simply go and copy and paste the snippet that I'm going to provide you. To be able to follow along, you will need to subscribe here with your name and email, and when you click on subscribe and access now, you will land on the custom login snippet. You will just need to go here and copy and paste the snippet right inside your website. And voila! But how to do so? Of course you will need a plugin to manage your code snippets. There are tons of plugins to do so. But in my case, I'm going to show you how to use WP Codebox, the sponsor of this video. So to get WP Codebox, you just need to head to the link that I will provide you in the description down below and in the pinned comment. You will land on this page and you can click on Get WP Codebox and choose your license. As you can see here, the first license, the single site one, starts from $39 per year. And then if you need more advanced features or if you want just to pay once, you can choose the lifetime license or the WP Codebox plus Cloud Unlimited Sites and Snippets. You can check all the different features here in the table. Let's say that we want this one and click on Get Started. Here you will just need to fill the form with your email address, your zip or postcode. Then you check here and you continue to the payment. You will be able to pay with your preferred method and then you will be able to access your WP Codebox account. Once you will be inside here, you can go on Downloads, you download your plugin, you go to the API Key Manager and then you copy your key. You can go back to your website, you will upload here your WP Codebox plugin and you click on Install Now. When you install the plugin, you will see it here, WP Codebox 2, and then you will be ready to follow along. Let's copy and paste this code snippet right inside the plugin. We go here, we make sure to give it a title. In this case, it will be Custom Login Flow. If you want, you can also add a description here, but it's optional, of course. Make sure here to have selected PHP, and then let's paste here all the code. Beautiful, you see? Now let's save the snippet. And as you can see here, we have our local snippets, Custom Login Flow. And if you want to enable this, you can just click here on the Enable. Let's save. And now let's make sure to follow all the instructions to create the relevant pages. The first page that we need to create is the login page that should have a login slug. Let's go and create it. We'll go here, we'll leave this page open and we just create a new page into a new tab. And this page, it will be the login page. As we can see in the instructions here, we can add a login form shortcode right inside our page, whatever we want. Let's make a quick test using just the standard Gutenberg editor. 
I have saved my draft, I go and have a preview, and I see that I have this message that says that I am already logged in, of course. So this means that the login form is working. Let's now change and go with Elementor. Okay, we will leave here and we'll just create our page using Elementor. If you want to use this same layout, you can download it in the resources page. So let's click here on download the layout I used in the tutorial. Perfect. You will find a zip file. You will just need to open it and then upload the JSON file that you find inside it. Okay. I will go now to my page. I click on the library icon. I go to the templates and then I click on the import icon here. Let's go and select our file. Make sure to upload the JSON file. We will find it WP Roads login layout. Here it is. Let's go and click on insert. Let's wait just a few seconds that this message is going to disappear and let's click on insert right here. Okay, let's apply and we will see our design ready to be customized. So here, depending on your website setup, you will have to yeah adjust a little bit stuff. So let's do it together. The first thing we go to the page settings and we make sure to insert here the Elementor canvas as the page layout so that we get rid of the header and footer. Perfect. Then we can adjust a little bit the sizing here. If we want, we can change it. For example, I will use my global custom typography and here I will add the, the logo of my website. This one. Okay. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Then I'll go here and change the size and also the color. And I'll do the same here. I will then add an image down here. And voila, if I want, I can also create an overlapping effect here. If I prefer, I can select this image here, go to the advanced tab and add a negative margin to the bottom. This looks nice. And here you will have your custom button that it is configured to bring your user back to the website dynamically. Okay, so now we can also go and change the background colors and make some adjustments based on the design of your website. Now to have a complete preview, let's just open this page into an incognito tab. I'll go and click on view page and then I'll copy and paste the link into an incognito tab. Wow, so this is my new login page. And if I try to log in, we are now logged into our website. If you want to add a custom redirect to the users that log into your website, you can just head to the code here and search for the part where it says shortcode attributes with default. You can also just type inside here command F or control F and go and type shortcode attributes. And you can see here there is a part which says redirect home URL and then here you will just be able to change this slash here with the URL of the page that you want to redirect to. Let's say that we want to redirect everyone after login to the account page or in my case to a simple page like the blog one. I'll just make sure to write it like this. Then I save my snippet. I go back to my incognito mode. I just log out now and here if I log back into my website I will see that I will be redirected to the blog and this is working perfectly. And now I'm going to show you how you can add a login logout link to your WordPress menu. In this case, we're going to use Elementor since Elementor has a built-in feature that lets you hide and show elements based on the user if the user is logged in or logged out. And uh, if you want to use Gutenberg and the standard block editor, you got the block visibility plugin, which is awesome to do so. And I will leave you the link in the description below if you want to use that. Or if you want, you can also go and use any other page builder. Many of the modern page builders like DV, Bricks uh, and all the others, they have kind of a way uh, or, or a workaround to hide or show elements dynamically and conditionally. So let's go and explore with Elementor how you can do so. We'll go here and uh, in this case, I'm going to uh, do this into my transparent header here. By the way, if you want to create a transparent header with Elementor, I will also leave you the link of that tutorial because I have a tutorial for that too <laughs> in the description below. And here basically you can go and add to your menu the links that you want to add. In this case, it, it will be the login logout link and uh, I will just add the link um, near my button here. So I will make sure to add a new menu here, okay? And actually I will add two menus and I will go and paste them here. Of course, you can achieve the same result in many different ways. You can code, you can you can just uh, update the code snippet, for example, that we are using or do any other stuff that you want. In this case, we're going to do like this. We're going to add a first menu, which will contain the login button and let's call it login. And this should be visible, uh, login, <laughs> log in. Yes. And this should be visible only if the user is uh, logged out, of course. So how to do so? It is pretty easy. And before doing so, we just need to link this 
link <laughs> to the login page, of course. Okay, which is this one. And uh, if you want, you can also add an icon. Let's say that we want to add a user icon. User, yes, this looks good. So we'll go here and uh, make sure to place the item here on the right. We'll go also to the advanced tab and make sure to shrink the size you see here so that the element is going just to occupy the space that it needs to to exist <laughs> and then we're going to the style tab and assign manually in this case the styling yeah we'll just go and assign this one and i will also give a default color which will be the global light color okay beautiful okay to make this link visible only to logged out users i will select it go to the advanced tab Okay, and then go to the display conditions. So in this case, I will just add a condition, page title, no, it is not the condition that I want. In this case, the condition that I want is the login status, is logged out. So when the user is not logged in, they will see the login button and I will duplicate this, but before doing so, I will just make sure to add also a different style here. Okay, I will just change a little bit of some elements, for example, the padding here. Okay, so that is going to occupy just the space that it needs. And then I'm going to add a different color on hover. I will add this uh, yellow color here. And let's publish and let's see how this is going to behave now. We exit to WordPress. We go here and we see that we are not seeing, you see the, the link, this is exactly what we need. And then I open this into an incognito window so I'm not logged in. And as you can see here, I see the login button. This works and uh, now I need to provide the other link, the logout link. So here when the user is logged in, maybe they just want to disconnect from the site and I will provide it right here. So I'll just go here, duplicate this one and I will just write logout in this case. I will leave the same link since in this page I have automatically added a logout link. So I will leave the login link here and I will show you now in a moment how this will work. Here I will just find the icon to exit. Let me show you, for example, yeah, this one, no, um, out, yes, sign out. This one is the one that I use. Okay, so log out and uh, I will leave the same link, of course, and then I will go and make sure here in the advanced tab to change the um, display conditions. So in this way, in this case, I need to, uh, to show this element if the user is logged in. Save and close, publish. Now I see the logout here, and when I click here, I see that I have a link here to log out, and when I log out, voila, I'm being redirected to my website homepage, beautiful. Now let's go and set up some custom pages to let the user reset their password. In this case, we do not have any page set up here. We just need to create one page, being sure that the URL will be reset-password. Let's create one together and let's test it out together. Let's create a new page. It will be called reset-password, okay. If you need to change these names here because you want to translate them and so on, you need to change them also in the code. So I will suggest you to not to do so if you're not an uh, expert in managing the code. So ex edit with Elementor here, reset password. We just need to insert here the related short code. So let's go and check them out. In this case, this is the short code that I need to place in the reset password page. So let's go and do it. Okay, I will place it here like this and uh, if I want I can also make this page uh, completely uh, distraction free so I can go here and change the template the page layout sorry and I place the Elementor canvas I go to the advanced tab and I also style here a little bit of padding up and down and we go here now and we add the short code so let's go and add it here short code and inside here we paste the last password form Perfect. As you can see here now, since I am already logged in, it is going to show something like this. And I want to the content here to be aligned to the center. So I'm going to the main container and I'm going to place the content to the center and also make sure that we have a maximum width here of uh, 500 pixels. Okay, let's publish. Okay, perfect. And uh, let's go and visit this page now in a, into an incognito mode, okay? We go to the login page, we click on the lost your password link, and now we have this beautiful form here. Of course, we need to add some explanations here, so let's do it. Okay, so this is going to be the content of my lost password page, and let's visit it again from the front end here, okay, into an incognito window, 
and let's click on login. Let's click on lost your password. You've lost your password, don't worry, you can set a new one by filling the form below, entering your email or username. Perfect. Let's see if it works. Reset password. Okay, and now if we want, we can create a password reset sent page where we can display anything we want, a notification or a custom message or anything we want here. So let's do it. It's going to be the password reset sent. Let's create this page together. So well, I will add a new page and I will call it password reset page. Okay, let's apply the same styling here. So I will use as a page layout the Elementor canvas. And this page is going to be called, in this case, password reset sent. We do not need any short code in this page. Sent. Okay, we just need here to display a simple message. So in my case, in this page, I've just set up a simple title and a link to the home page so that the user can go back to the home page. Okay, now we have this page here set up like this and let's see if it works fine. So we'll go and open the website in the front end. Okay, we go to the lost your password. We go and uh, fill the form here, reset password. And voila, we sent you the link, pass, uh, the reset password link. Check your inbox to find the reset password link. Then we go back to the website. Beautiful, works fine. And now we will create the last page, which is going to be the reset password page. And here we have the set new password. Okay, this is gonna be the slug. So let's go and create a new page with this title here and we will paste in this page, this custom reset password form. This is my new page, I will give it a title. It is very important here to use the same words that I have here, so set new password. Then even here, we will just go and get rid of the header and footer in my case. Of course, you're free to use the same de design that you prefer. I will use a, a similar structure here, but we'll just change here the content. Okay, once the page is ready, we just need to copy and paste here the custom short code. Let's copy and paste it here. Okay, okay. And now we click on publish, and now we're going to test all the reset password workflow. So we are here, we click on login, we forgot our password, so we go and lost your password. We fill the form here, okay? We receive an email. We can go back to the website if we want. This is going to be the password reset email, so we click on the link and we will land on the password reset page. Wow, it looks nice, very nice. We can type here the new password. Let's click on set new password and your password has been reset. Login now. Wow, let's go and see if it works. And voila, I'm logged in to my website. Thank you very much for watching this video till the end. And if you want, you can continue watching my videos by clicking here on the next video, which is, is gonna be suggested by me or by YouTube. And um, yeah, if you like this kind of content, make sure to subscribe, to give me a thumbs up, and to share this video with your colleagues or friends. See you in the next one. Ciao, ciao.